The problem statement in question 3 says 72% of 25 students are good in mathematics. How many are not good in mathematics? So, we have a total of 25 students. Of these students, 72% are good in mathematics and we have to find out how many are not good in mathematics. So, let's solve this problem step by step. So, first we write the total number of students. So, the total number of students is 25. Then we write the percentage of students who are good in mathematics. So, the number of students good in mathematics is 72% and this 72% is 72% of the total number of students or 25. So, now let's convert it into an absolute number. So, this will be 72 by 100 of 25. So, what is this number 72 by 100 of 25? So, 100 by 25 is 4 and then we have 72 divided by 4 is 18. So, this is equal to 18. So, the number of students good in mathematics is equal to 18 which means that the number of students not good in mathematics will be the total number of students which is 25 minus the number of students who are good in mathematics which is 18 which we have calculated here. So, 25 minus 18 is equal to 7. So, the number of students not good in mathematics is 7. The other way to have solved the same problem is that instead of calculating the absolute number of students who are good in mathematics, we can first find the percentage of students who are not good in mathematics. How can we do that? So, we know that the percentage of students good in mathematics is 72%. This means that the percentage of students not good in mathematics, the percentage of such students is 100% minus 72% or 28%. So, the percentage of students not good in mathematics is 28% and now we can convert 28% into an absolute number. So, that will be 28 by 100 into 25 which is the total number of students. So, 100 by 25 is 4 and then 28 by 4 is 7. So, the number of students not good in mathematics is 7 which is the same answer as what we obtained in the first approach. So, let me summarize the two approaches. Uh, we are told that the total number of students is 25 and the percentage of students good in mathematics is 72 percent. So, the first approach in the first approach we calculate the number of good students number of students who are good in mathematics which is 18 and then subtract that from 25 to get the number of students not good in mathematics. In the second approach we find the percentage of students not good in mathematics which is 100 percent minus 72 percent or 28 percent and then we convert this into an absolute number 28 percent of 25 which is 7. So, both approaches give us the same answer which is that 7 students are not good in mathematics. With that question 3 is completed. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.